Hey guys, welcome back to the Pettit Life. Just me and Dad today. Uh, Jada's got to work. We are headed to Ponderosa Speedway for the finale of the Fall Classic tonight. Uh, 10,088 to win in honor of Big Daddy Paul Feistretcher, uh, one of the local legends in this region. Should be a good one. There's a bunch of cars supposed to be coming tonight from the canceled Lucas race also. Uh, so yeah, the uh, Bruce Build Iron Man Modifieds are there too. Should be a good one. Bloomer's there, Mike Marler's there, Ryan Gustin's there, uh, a bunch of the big guys. So should be a pretty good show. What do you think, Dad? It'll be a good one. Uh, Josh Rice is there. Yeah, Josh Rice. Uh, the Wild Child. Victor Lee, there's going to be a bunch of good ones. Yeah, Tanner English, but uh, we're getting ready to head up that way, and it should be the season finale for uh, Ponderosa this year. So, anyway, we'll get it in for you. See y'all when we get there. Hey, this is Jason. Hey, it's Jada, and welcome, welcome to, to the Pettit, Pettit Life. Life. And here we are at Kentucky's Baddest Bull Ring, the Ponderosa Speedway, also known as the Pond. Um, they had an autograph session where here's Mike Marler who ended up signing this hat for Dad, uh, which was pretty cool. And then here's Bloomquist, and they're in Bloomquist's trailer. And then here's Michael Chilton. He closed out the championship for the North Series. Valvoline Ironman North Series. Super late model got Josh Rice coming out. We got heat race number one coming up. Tanner English and Cameron Merler on the front row.
race number two, you got Mike Marler and Ryan Gustin on the front row, Dalton Wilson and Brandon Fouts. Josh Rice on the pole, Scott Bloomquist outside, Michael Chilton.
came out with 15 laps in. Further got into uh, number six Coughlin car trying to get around him and lap him. He come down into him and Mike's car left the ground going around him. So they pulled the sheet metal out under caution. Hopefully it's okay, not rubbing. All right, here we go. Restart on lap 15. Marler, English, Marler. Inside of Bloomquist, got another caution. They're going to call back to start. All right, we're going to try it again. 15 to go. Marler, English, Marler, Rice, Bloomquist. And Mikey back out to the lead. Cameron trying to go up high on English. Rice and Bloomquist racing for four.
come out with three to go. It's going to be a single file restart. Parler, English, Parler, Rice, Bloomquist, Ryan Gustin. second and third place cars Tanner English and Cameron Marler. Classic to celebrate Big Daddy Qualify Stretcher. The Big Daddy Classic and if anybody is around that's uh, over a certain age you know who Big Daddy was around here. I remember as a kid uh, coming up here to the racetrack and several time track champion here at Ponderosa Speedway. Big Daddy you knew when he rolled in it was going to be a fun night. Uh, multi time track champion. He was a legend around this region. Ponderosa Speedway, he raced over at the old Campbellsville Raceway. Lake Cumberland Speedway, yes, where that's where I saw him, was at Lake Cumberland Speedway as a kid, uh, 12 years old, watching him roll in there in that number 88. And we're here tonight to honor him, and we want to thank all of his family for being here and uh, uh, wish him just the best here tonight. Thank you, uh, Big Daddy, for everything you did for the racing community, multi time track champion, Hall of Famer, and uh, thank him for everything that he has done for the uh, racing community all right so the reason they just did that tribute to big daddy during the before the pro race is because it was starting to rain before the super race and they were just trying to get everything rolling and get it in so that's why for everybody watching that's why the big daddy classic tribute was done after the big daddy classic right before we started the pro crate late model race and they're doing a missing man formation for him in honor. Skyler Barler out front. That spot open for Big Daddy. Fans on your feet. Give them a wave as they come by. The driver's going to wave at you. We're going to get ready to send them off here. The carry towing pro late models. Big Daddy Classic coming your way. All right. So the lineup for the... Uh, Pro late model race. Justin Smith, Skylar Marler, Justin Ratliff, Logan Walls. Top four. Justin Smith out to early lead. Skylar Marler in second. Oh, now well, they're going to call it back, it looks like. All right. You got Justin Smith, Skylar Marler.
between three and four. change a tire and go to the back and we're about to have a one lap shootout. He'll not even come back out. Yeah, he might not even come back out. We'll see. Yeah, they're not even going to worry with it. They're done. So, we're about to have a one lap shootout. So, here we go. Skyler Marler, Logan Hall. victory circle tonight already and then Cameron was also on the podium finished third in the super race so we'll see if David can win the uh, hobby stock race here in a few but yeah there's your winner Skylar Marler in the crate race all right we got the modified feature coming up next you got Cole Falloway, Brian Barber, Brandon Kinzer, Ben Harmon, Victor Lee, Peyton Harlow.
Top six, starting on this one. Here we go. And foul away in the early lead. Ginger up the inside on Bober. Victor and Pike racing for the fifth.
Matthew Norman. There you go. Matthew Norman beat Preston right in the nick of time. Good job, buddy. He's excited and he should be. That was a good drive. All right, next up we got the hobby stocks. We got Craig Stocks and David Marler starting on the front row of it. Let's see if maybe Marler can uh, keep the streak going for the Marlers or subscriber Craig Stocks ends up winning. We'll see how it goes. And Craig to the early lead. David on his outside. Oh, we got jumbling around in the back. But, oh boy. Greg split up in front of David. And we got a oh, we got a caution. Big pile up over here, turn three and four. Coming on around. Alright, we got a complete restart again after that big mess over there in turn three and four. So you got Craig Stocks and David Merler on the front row. And here we go. I guess it ain't a complete restart. I seen the scoreboard said zero and I thought, what the heck? the caution uh, Eddie Strunk's car caught on fire coming down the front stretch had to pull to the pits right quick so it looks like they got it out four laps in all right we got a restart on lap four got David Marler leading Craig Stocks in second David slips up one little bit. Craig's got him. All right, we got two laps left. Craig's still right on on David. He's rubbed him a couple times, but ain't been able to get around him. to the white flag right now. Greg's going to dive in on him. David's right there. David's up on the outside with him. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, he hit it pretty hard. Wow. Greg won the race, but right now I'm more worried about David. TJ Smith and then Randy Hacker. Congratulations on Craig winning. He stayed right there on David until he got up over the cushion and got in the wall. Basically forced an error. But David and, or I'm sorry, Cameron and Mikey all down there at David's car right now. Hopefully David's okay. All right, that's David out of the car and in front of it, so he's okay. That's good. Well, Craig ended up winning a race. Congratulations to him again. He's one of our subscribers. I hate that David wrecked, but it looks like he's okay, so. That's what's important. All right, we got Jada's favorite class, the Buzz Buzzes, coming up next. Four wheel drives. Brandon Creek starting on the pole.
got a call from already. Oh, we had one spun around on the back stretch. All right, we got a complete restart. Didn't end up getting a lap in before the caution come out. So again, Brandon Creech on the pole, 96 car. good race close racing and uh, just good cars here yeah we had two marlers on the podium in the super late model class mikey won and then cameron come in third yeah and then skyler won skyler the, won the crate race yeah. and david, david was leading the hobby stock race and then uh i guess craig put enough pressure on him to where something happened over there and he he got in the wall pretty good and uh but it looks like he's okay and everything and craig went over and talked to him and everything and and Mikey, you know, said, you know, that's racing. So that's good. But, yeah, good racing in all classes. I uh, thought we were going to get rained out there for a minute before the features started, but it ended up clearing up enough uh, to get everything in. So grateful for that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were smart enough not to do an intermission, just kept yeah. rolling. And yeah, they kept cars on the track. And it sprinkled there through, like, a lot of the heat races, the last chance heat races and stuff that were going on, but it they never stopped, never threw the caution, everything worked out. So glad to see them get it in. Good night of racing. Yep. Last night here this year. Yeah, last night for Ponderosa this year. So uh, we'll get to some more races here before the end of the season for y'all. But uh, we'll post some more about that when we get it all figured out. But anyway, thank y'all for coming along with us. Have a good one. Till the next one. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for our next big adventure. Like, share, and subscribe to get that content.